My work really focuses on how do we re-understand, re-imagine engineering for the 21st century. So a lot of engineering thinking and frameworks are really based in kind of industrial revolution ideas of how the world is and what we can do to the world. What I'm interested in is what, does it, what could engineering be for the 21st century and how can we use new thinking and new ideas about what our society should be in our engineering design processes. What's really exciting about my work is that I'm able to bring in feminist theory and so, I, social ideas of the world into engineering design codes and design practices so that engineers themselves can really understand the realities and needs of women and include that in their design processes. If you don't have the tools to do that, you're always just gonna re reproduce what you've always produced. And so a lot of my work is about working with engineers to see how we can interpret feminist ideas into like physical design. When we think about it from a feminist perspective, we kind of, we do center female experience to understand like, because we assume the female experience has been excluded because of patriarchy. So that's why we, we focus on that. And so to understand how women use the city differently to men is a really a key primary inquiry. And as we bring a feminist perspective and a feminist lens, that enables us to be more inclusive generally because what it does is opens our minds that the city is plural. Whether you're elderly or a young child or you have a disability, if we don't design for you and we say, well, you can just take that back route and take 15 minutes extra for your journey, it says we don't really care and you don't really belong. And that actually has a cumulative effect on how we can access the city, how much energy it takes for us to access the resources and the vibrancy and the things that we're in the city for. I think this country and many countries around the world pour a lot of money and resources into infrastructure design and production. And at the moment, that is mainly focused on only a very, on optimizing that infrastructure for a very few amount of people. If we can be more broad-minded and more inclusive about the way we invest that money, whether we think it's important to put a lift or a ramp in, then we are creating a future that everyone can be part of and everyone is welcomed into. And I think that's a future that I want to be in.